Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Whenever you're watching this, this is Marcos, and today I'm gonna be showing you my uh, PS1 and PS2 games collection. And there's actually gonna be one game I'm gonna show because it's not exactly suitable for this channel, and it's not this kind of thing I would record on Marcos. So I'm probably gonna get started with the PS1 games. So first of all, we have uh, actually this this one doesn't have a cover. Uh, there's actually two games in this. Uh, what do you call it? I think these are called covers. So we have Crash Team Racing and Heart of Darkness. So I'll pull the ones that I've shown on the other side of the table. Next is Driver 2. And all these are PAL by the way. And it does have both of the discs. I think the uh, there, there are actually ones that don't have the second disc unfortunately. But um, anyway. The next one is Toka World Touring Cars. Then we have Worms Armageddon. <laughs> and there's actually still a price tag on it, three pounds. <laughs> and the next one is Pong. And unfortunately the cover is uh, kind of, it kind of broke off, but uh, the disc still fully works. And the next game, this is actually from my friend, uh, Rayman. It's not in the, the cover's not in, in the best condition, but again, the disc itself works. And this actually has a pretty chunky manual as well. Uh, and these, one, two, three, four, five, these five discs, these ones I'm going to show next. Uh, I haven't played them enough, but uh, I'm going to show them anyway, so... Firestorm uh, Thund Thunderhawk 2 and next we have Hardcore I think this is actually, is it 4 discs or is it just uh, 2, let's see 1, 2, 3, I think there's 3 discs in this and uh, for these ones, yeah, unfortunately I only have 1 disc the next game is Airboat Racing I actually got this because I thought it's another game but it turned out that uh, it wasn't the one I was expecting, so... And again, the cover is a little bit... Uh, there we go, so I think I fixed, fixed it. Okay. And the next one is The Lost World Jurassic Park, which is uh, another one I haven't played. <laughs> the price tag is there again. Nice, and now we're gonna go on the PS2 games. As you can see, I don't have a lot of the PS1 games because I don't know where the rest of the rest of them went. But uh, either way, this is a demo disc right here for the PS2, and it's the number 84 OPS2M demo 84 UK slash EUR PAL version. And this right here uh, is another PS2 demo, and it's the OPS2 M Demo 48 for the PAL version, PAL region, sorry. And uh, all of these, the these are the sports games. So this is NHL 2005, and I think for the esports, for some reason. If it's 2005, it means 2004, actually. I have no idea why uh, they made it like this, but... Uh, let's actually see. Yeah, the release, date, the release date is actually 2004. But anyway, this actually is with uh, Netplay, so we can play it online. The next sports game is Tony, Hawk, Tony Hawk's Underground, also with Netplay. And the next game has it as well, uh, Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, and also it, it comes with Netplay. Uh, the next games I'm gonna show, these are the fighting games, so this, uh, this one doesn't unfortunately have a cover, but uh, it's Star Wars Battlefront 2 for the PAL region. I think I did mention it on the beginning that all these are PAL, so I'm not sure why I'm still saying that for that for every single game. Anyway. So, uh, Tekken 4 is the next game. Which 
uh, this game actually came with the PS2 that I got. Next one is Fight Night Round 2. And this is the good one because I didn't actually like Fight Night Round 3, which is the next uh, game I'm gonna show. Uh, but this one has some pretty good moves uh, compared to the next one. Fight Night Round 3, which uh, I don't exactly, I kind of don't like it to be honest. Uh, it kind of feels clunky, the co combat or rather the boxing. The next one is, it's another fighting game and it's The Lord of the Rings Return of the King. And I haven't actually played this enough yet, so I wouldn't be able to review it yet. But uh, anyway, the next one is Tenchu Wrath. I, think, I don't know how to pronounce it, I think Tenchu Wrath of Heaven, uh, another game with a price tag still, <laughs> I haven't unpeeled it yet, and uh, this is Smackdown vs Raw 2007, and it actually comes with Netplay as well, this is this I collected back when um, I used to be a wrestling fan, I didn't really watch it much anymore, but uh, yeah. Uh, the ne next game, actually, this is a fighting game as well. I don't know why I didn't put it with the rest of them. Project Altered Beast. I know the project from the text is missing, but uh, this this is from Sega. My it's my very favorite game, and the original one I think was for the Amiga or Commodore or something, or I don't actually remember. But uh, this is better known as Project Altered Beast. So let's get that out of the out of the way. Now the next game I'm gonna show, uh, I suppose I could show this The Sims. I got this because uh, I heard it was pretty good and pretty fun. I remember my friend in the UK used to play this. And yeah. And the next one, actually the next uh, s series I'm gonna show is, uh, this. these are all Crash games and the first one is Crashed Insanity. Probably my most favorite Crash game out of all these. And the next is Crash Tag Team Racing. I grew up on this game basically. It was one of the first games I got, I believe. Although I'm not sure from where, but I know it was one of the first ones I owned. This one, Crash Nitro Kart, I'm pretty sure I got it. Uh, oh, yeah, I got it in this country, in the Czech Republic. And it's not too long ago, although, well, it's maybe three or four years now, but I, it's kind of one of the more recent aim games I actually own. Now then, uh, these are the World War II games, so Prison of War, a really fun game. I'm actually make, making a let's play of it. All right, so the next game is Medal of Honor Frontline, another World War II game. And I actually made some uh, additional papers on it that I wrote when I was a kid. Uh, and the next one, I haven't actually played this enough, but it's Seek and Destroy. Uh, it's kind of, it's most probably like uh, Panzerfront, which was a game for the PS1. But maybe it could be completely different, I'm not sure because I haven't actually played enough. Now these games are, oh yeah, it's the racing games. Okay, Driver Free, my very favorite game, I was a... Uh, and I'm still I'm a big fan of the Driver series, although Driver Free is kind of where I draw the line, because I don't really like any of the games after that because they don't have Tanner in it. So, the next one is uh, Disney Cars, uh, Disney Pixar Cars. Probably people just call it Cars, and uh, I don't think I finished this, but uh, I used to play this when I was younger. The next one is Cell Damage Overdrive. Uh, kind of a cartoonish racing game, which is quite fun. It kind of reminds me of Crash as well, the Crash Team racing games. And then the next one is Need for Speed Underground 2, and it comes with the net play. Uh, kind of a well-known game, and <laughs> there's a sticker inside as well here, a price tag. And the next one, Burnout 3 Takedown. I never understood why people like this game so much. In fact, I'd be willing to sell this, most likely. Uh, because, I don't know, I kind of find, find the thing that you crash all the time kind of annoying. At least I crash all the time. The roads are kind of all the same and boring. And I just never understood the hype. But either way, 
thank you very much for watching this and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time so thank you take care and bye